Hello, this is the doctor. No, this is Goku for the seven one, and I'm back. But I do have a TARDIS back there. Actually, two. And I'm here to talk about the 60th anniversary. Just quick thoughts. And then I'm going to give a theory. It's absolutely wrong. But hey, let's have some fun. Theories are fun. So the first thing is the 60th anniversary. I really liked it. I think it was good. It was only the first episode. There are two more to go. And I liked the first episode. It was a cool story. I liked the little twist at the end. Not going to give any spoilers here if you ha haven't seen it. Um, the only spoilers I'll be giving are going to be uh, related to the theory. And I'll tell you when I'm ready. But nothing major. And the only thing I wish they would have done a little bit different is they leaned too much into him acting like 10. Um, and the catchphrases, I think, could have been left out. Other than that, I really liked it for the most part. The new uses for the Sonic screwdriver were a little over the top. But other than that, it was fun. It was but it was really good. And I'm looking forward to episodes two and three. But now it's time for a completely incorrect theory. Yes, I don't think this is true. But there's evidence to support it. So Donna's daughter, Rose, is, so they said that the last time the doctor had saw Donna was 15 years ago. They gave it time. She does not look 15. She definitely does not look 14. Meaning, is that really Donna's biological daughter? Now, people are going to put in the comments, well, they did the Metacrisis thing, and they both are part of the Metacrisis. And the implication is when she was in the womb, part of that energy went into her. Now, if she was pregnant during the Metacrisis, yeah, that is quite possible, but that's not what we're led to believe. And then the time would add up at least a little bit better. Um, then she'd be about 16. Um but that doesn't, that's not how any of this adds up. The other thing, now the actress is 20. The other thing about this, uh, or the thing that's chiming, the age is the big thing that made me want to think about this theory. But then I, th then I thought, there are two characters that are due to have a comeback. Maybe more, but there are two characters that really should come back. They're very easy to bring back, and they haven't. Um, and I think it's the second. I think it's the second most deserved character for a comeback. The most deserved character for a comeback is Susan Foreman. I hope she comes back later on in, in, in the series, and I actually want it to be played by the original actress. She said that she would be game. But... Another character who should absolutely come back is Jenny. Jenny went off exploring the galaxy, and from what I understand, they've done books on it, they've done other material, but that's who I think Rose might be, is Jenny. And it would actually add up, because the whole thing about the Metacrisis is that a human cannot contain it. Jenny's not a human. Jenny is a, uh, is a uh, is Gallifreyan. She's equivalently a Time Lord. She is shown to have regeneration energy. She could handle it. And the concept is, and, and yes, Donna would know that she has an adopted daughter. It's crazy. But there's evidence to conclude it. Now, we're going to know next week or the week after because I don't think this is going to be something that's going to be pushed off into, like, oblivion. But it's a thought. It's a concept. And that is what theory crafting is. This theory is wild. This theory is crazy. This theory is 99% unlikely to be true. But 99 is not 100 so I definitely want you to leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the episode. And tell me if you think my crazy crackpot theory could be true. So this was GoFoof71, and I'll see you next time.